hello so I'm back again to make a video um, and unfortunately I don't have so much time I have to skedaddle in about 20 minutes I am sorry for the terrible lighting it is you know a rainy day I open the window but it's still not letting in so much light and I just have this lamp and that other lamp I really don't have any overhead light so anyways um I was giving some thought to some of the videos of my channel and I realized I like made a list and I realized that I never really discussed about why exactly I moved or chose to move to Colorado um, and what would made me do that sorry um, it's not like I planned on this for a long time I mean I honestly I never thought that I would be out here in Colorado you know basically um, when I came back home from Switzerland in March or April I can't even remember I'm losing track of time um, of this year um, I was giving it thought, like, I was trying to, like, rest and recover, because, like, my family had moved while I was overseas, which, you know, um, when I came back, I had to, like, find my stuff, you know, like, my birth certificate, um, social security card, or just, you know, um, <laughs> my clothes. I, I still actually haven't located a certain box of books, and I really hate this, because this particular box has all my travel books, my language books you know, and a few, like, of my favorite books, and I just can't find it anywhere. Like, I have checked in the attic, I've checked everywhere. It's probably somewhere out in storage, I just didn't look good enough. I'll probably have to look again. We have a lot of books in my family. Like, my family loves to read. Like, we have so many books, we could probably have our own library. And so, um, my box of books is probably mixed up somewhere. I don't think I labeled it, so that doesn't help either. Um, so anyways, <sighs> what made me come to Colorado? Um, it was kind of by accident, like kind of spontaneous, really, to be honest. Um, I just, like the first day I came back from Switzerland, like, you know, I come back home, I'm glad, but like, just right away, I don't know, I just felt this restlessness, like, just like, I was already wanting to go back to Switzerland, like, uh-huh, <laughs> you know, I want to go back, <laughs> like, you know, and I ended up having a good, a good summer, but, like, I was always just kind of, like, I knew I needed a job, because, you know, I have things to pay for, like, my car, my phone bill, you know, and things like that, but I was just, like, you know, what, what can I do to, like, like, I didn't want to just work at Burger King, you know, and I had looked around at jobs, I was looking every day, but I just never found anything that, like, I wanted to do. And I'm not trying to be picky, but, like, when I lived in Florida, I had a great bed and breakfast job. Like, I loved my job so much. And even the ice cream job I had, it was stressful sometimes, especially when I had to work both jobs the same day. It would be, like, from 7 or 8 a.m. to, like, 11 p.m., like, all together. You know, I had, like, maybe two hours in between just to come home, change try to take a nap, try to eat a little bit, and then I had to go back out the door. Um, so it was, it was a little bit stressful. Um, and so because I was so busy last year working all the time, I was trying to use this year to kind of catch up on projects or things that I had, you know, uh, put off or procrastinated with. And, um, but I still was like, I need to get a job. And so I just went on the internet basically. And I was scrolling, <laughs> through stuff, like, I was trying, I actually considered working in New York, like, in Manhattan, as, like, a nanny or a babysitter, um, signing on a contract or something, like, for a year or whatever, I'm kind of glad I didn't do that, but I was considering it because they pay really well up there, and I thought, wow, I could get all this money in just a year, and then I can, you know, you know, get really ahead, but I was, I just, I don't know, it just never felt right, like, it just didn't feel right, and I never really applied to anything, I was just kind of like, hmm, and then, for some reason, I thought, GAP program. Like, I don't know why, but just one day in my head, it just occurred to me, what about a GAP program? Because I was trying to look for seasonal work. Like, I was looking out of state because I was just like, there's nothing here where I live. And I love meeting people. I like getting experience, and I wanted this. But also, being maybe in a new place, you know, um, learning new things that could go on my resume, but still learning money, too. But, like having room and board and um I just when I typed in like gap program or something um cool works came up this website called cool works and this is a really great website because they have all kinds of seasonal work um all over the states and sometimes even a little bit around the world 
but I was like, I don't know, like, the pictures, like, Colorado Rockies came up, because this was an approaching season, like, because this was, like, in June or something, and they were hiring or wanting work starting in August, and I basically was, like, reading it, and I was like, I just got excited, like, it just felt right, like, as soon as I read it, I was reading everything, and I was like, oh, this, this just seems like, yeah, I, I, I actually am excited about this, and plus, I love mountains, and I mean, I love the beach, but life is more than just a beach. It is not just a beach. And after going to Switzerland and Germany, I don't know, I just, I love mountains and I love cold weather. I complain about it, I know. Some of my friends are like, you really like cold weather? You're, you know, and I'm like, yeah, I actually do. I just like to complain about it too. <laughs> you know, but I do, I'm more of a cold weather person. Fall is my favorite. Anyways, about, enough about the seasons. Um, so... I basically showed my mom, and I was like, what do you think? I showed my dad, you know, and they were both like, oh, yeah, it sounds like a great opportunity, basically, you know, jump on it, and um, I did. I applied, and the lady got back with me right away, and the next thing you know, we scheduled a Skype interview, which went really well. Like, I, I felt good about it. Like, I felt like, oh, I got the job. I know I did. I know I did. You know, I didn't want to get too excited, and then it was just like a couple days later, I get a phone call, and she's like, you know, you're hired, basically, like, we want you, and I was like, I was so excited, and I was just like, wow, like, this is great, so, I don't know, it was really just, I, I, I just, I don't regret coming here, I've met so many amazing people, Colorado, I can't say particularly why I chose Colorado, except mountains, and just, just this particular place, I'm not sure I would have picked anywhere else in Colorado, when I first landed in Denver, I was like, it's flat, <laughs> like, you know, but then I saw the mountains in the background, and by the time we drove and we were in the mountains, I'm like, oh my gosh, like, this place is enchanting, like, I am right by the Rocky, I'm right in the Rocky Mountains, like, you know, so, yeah, it was just more like, I, I didn't just want to get a regular job back at home, you know, and I just wanted to go somewhere else and make money, you know, like, I just, I just wanted to do that, and so, um, it really didn't cost me that much to come out here. I got a pretty cheap flight. I don't think it was more, I think it was like 150 or something like that, 180. Like it wasn't any more than that. Um, the program itself was 500, which I've already paid myself back for. And in fact, when I got here, people were like, why did you choose the program? You could have just got hired here regularly. And I was like, oh, <laughs> but I'm kind of glad I, I did do the program, even though sometimes it's a little stressful and I don't always like everything about it. I am glad that I did elevate um, because I've met a lot of really great people um, working in this program. And other than that, though, I haven't ha oh okay. And I spent money on getting things like a few um, things like rain gear or like the hiking shoes, which I have only used twice since I've been here. Everybody uses their tennis shoes; it's so ridiculous. I use them too, and now I need new ones because they're just shot out. Um, so yeah. I don't know. I just, I, it's my goal to also visit every state and, you know, why not Colorado? It's, that's out West. I've been out West before, you know, living in Wyoming for a year. I was like, I can handle that. It is, it's not a big deal. And it was just one of the best decisions I've ever made. I've made lifelong friends here and I would never have imagined that living in Colorado would be just as fun and exciting as, like living in Europe. I really didn't imagine that. I've had so much fun and I've told people, it's like, I turned down, like I was supposed to go back to Switzerland or something this year. I had, you know, two different offers to go back to Europe and I turned them both down to come here because I was like, I got to save money. You know, I really just need to work, you know, and everybody's like, what? You know, and yeah, and I'm so glad I did. I would not have met these amazing people. If it wasn't for the people, eh, it just wouldn't be. <laughs> Um, it wouldn't be as good. It just wouldn't. Um, so yeah, that's just a little bit about why I came here. And it's, it's been really interesting. I say all the time, like with just with certain things that I see or hear about over here, I'm just like, I am not in Georgia anymore. <laughs> it's just so funny. Oh my God. I think I plan on um, doing a video probably showing like the differences between Colorado and Georgia or just like out west and here in the south like it's just because it's just hilarious some of the things out here. Anyway so I gotta go um, I have like 
15 minutes. Oh, that wasn't that bad. 20 minutes. I still have, no, 10 minutes. Anyways, yeah, thank you for watching, and I hope to keep making more videos soon. I always think about it. I just don't always have time, um, and it really stinks because either the weather's crappy, like today, or I'm working. That's usually it. I'm working, and by the time I get off, like, it's like the sun is setting because it sets early, and then the lighting is really poor, and so anyways, yeah, that's what I had to say, and um, I'll see you next time.